In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the SVS Prime Wireless Speaker System. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, and welcome to Audio Architects. My name's Mike. If it's your first time here, I would love for you to check out my other content. If you dig it, definitely give me a subscribe because subscriptions are phenomenal. And if you really like it, definitely smash that like button. I know, that's cheesy, I know. What can I do? It's my call to action. So <laughs> if you do enjoy my content, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out. So we're gonna be taking a look at the SVS Prime Wireless Speaker System. Um, this is something that I discussed with Nick and Larry on our uh, Hi-Fi Hour that we did. You could find it right here. And it's something that's very intriguing because for the longest time, I have been using the Canto Tux on my computer setup. So I'm interested to see what the Prime Wireless Speaker System can do I want to explore all of its features in depth. So I'm basically, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. I'm gonna live with it for a good week or two. And then I'm gonna finish my review at that point because I wanna give you guys the best possible uh, advice as far as should you buy this product? Uh, should you invest in it? Uh, it's not a huge investment, it's not very expensive, but at the same time, money's money. And you wanna be putting your money towards something that's gonna give you at least a good return over time and something you can keep. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed and take a look at it and see what it looks like, you know? So I really, uh, really, really, really am starting to dig the white gloss thing that SBS is doing. So not only am I gonna be reviewing the SBS Prime Wireless Speaker System, but in the following video, I will be reviewing the brand new SB1000 Pro in white gloss. So stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so right off the top, we have um, power, power connector. And it seems like, I think this is the cord that connects, that connects the, the speakers together. We will see how that goes. Um, here's some little feet or some little, um, you know, little, rubber things for the bottom. Uh, I have not yet seen these, so we are discovering this for the first time together. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and pull it right out. Wow. Yeah, that white gloss is shimmering in the light. It is beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, Size-wise, very small, compact. Uh, well, first and foremost, I love the black accents. That really makes the, the the logo stand out. Let's see if it's a magnetic grill. You know how I love my magnetic grills. It is not a, is it? I don't think it is. I think it's just a, a little one. Okay, like I said, digging the black accents on the speakers. Um, I like how the, there's a little metal mesh uh, grill on the front of the tweeter. That is cool. Um, the controls are nice. Knobs are nice. The back, same scenario. Black accent on the base port. Absolutely dig it. Okay, so that, that cord does go to the other speaker, so that is cool. It's a, uh, it's a specific cord for that. The thing about these speakers is they are feature rich. They have a lot of stuff going on, um, including a sub out, which is inc incredibly important to me because I will be integrating the SB1000 Pro with these speakers to get the full effect, you know, and the full range effect of what's going on. Um, Bluetooth, it does do Bluetooth. It does, it, I mean, it does all the basic stuff that you would think a Bluetooth speaker should do, but it does go above and beyond with certain other features, which I will be talking about in the clip ahead and giving you a breakdown of what this, what this thing can do, you know? Because I know you guys are, are curious. However, as far as architecturally, it's beautiful. It's small, really small. I mean, there's no depth to it. I mean, it does have a little bit, of, it does have a good, good amount of weight to it. Not hollow at all, so you can tell that it's built well. And that white gloss is just, <sighs> Nick and Larry, 
I was I was right. I was correct about the white gloss. So I am totally happy about that. It does have a little screen right here that lets you know what's going on. Um, pretty simple. Small driver. Looks like a four incher. It is a small driver, so I will be doing a measurement, REW measurement on it, just to let you guys know exactly where the uh, the overall average range is. However, I expect it to do quite well in the mids and highs. Um, and uh, obviously the lows will be covered by that SV1000 Pro. So go ahead and stay tuned for the clips ahead where I'll be talking about the features. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the measurements and I'll go ahead and give you my overall opinion and whether or not you should buy these, uh, these little bad boys. So stay tuned guys. Okay, everybody, time to talk specs. Now, normally I go really in depth with the specifications of these speakers. However, I just wanna go briefly over what they are, which is a four and a half inch mid-range driver, and it comes with a one inch aluminum dome tweeter. Now, I would like to talk more about the features because I feel that these speakers are very feature rich. Uh, now, they do come with a 200 watt RMS amplifier, which breaks it up into four channels. Now, the reason they've done this is because each channel goes to each speaker, the both mid-range drivers and the tweeters. The onboard DAC is a 192 kilohertz by 24 bit DAC, and it provides pristine audio quality when listening to your favorite uh, music platform like Spotify or Tidal or anything digital that you're gonna be running through these speakers. What I think is absolutely amazing is that it utilizes the PlayFi app, the DTS PlayFi app, to control all of your streaming services and audio content from any phone or tablet via Wi-Fi, which I believe is a stronger connection than Bluetooth. However, it also allows you to control Amazon Alexa, which is really cool, and it will allow you to have high resolution multi-room audio. So in essence, these speakers are a lot more than just a pair of Bluetooth powered speakers. These speakers were built to have a forward facing technology to adapt to anything coming up in the future. So these are very upgradable as far as the technology goes within these speakers. The connectivity is absolutely expansive. You can connect your computer, your TV, your record player, your gaming console, your CD player, uh, pretty much anything you could possibly think of with an auxiliary cord, an optical cable, or via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Now where things start getting really hot and heavy is the bass. You can have a subwoofer with these speakers. A lot of Bluetooth speakers don't come with a subwoofer out, these ones do, and they actually pair perfectly with the SB1000 Pro, which I am also going to be reviewing in a future video. The speakers themselves are very small and lightweight, and they come in a white or black gloss finish, which I, of course, chose the white gloss because I absolutely love it. Coming up next is the REW measurement. Let's see how they measured up. Okay, now it's time for the REW measurement. So it is very, very linear, and the actual high end does not fall off. It goes well past 20 kilohertz. So you could definitely assume that these are brighter speakers. However, they are not tinny or fatiguing. They were very, very nice on the top end. They stay very, very nice and linear throughout the mids, but they do drop off, uh, I'd say around, comfortably around 95 to 100 hertz, but they dip a little bit, they pop up a little bit around 60 after about 10 decibels, and then they kind of waterfall down. And this was expected, I mean, they are a smaller speaker, however, they are very impressive with the mids and highs, but pairing it with a sub, I feel, would be absolutely necessary. That's why they make such a great marriage with the SB1000 Pro. All right, guys, so what did I think of these speakers? Well, I thought they were great. I thought they were awesome. I thought that the uh, clarity was absolutely present and beautiful, and you can definitely, definitely listen to your favorite music flawlessly. The mids and the highs were very impressive, very, very impressive. The highs were not tinny, they weren't fatiguing, they weren't, you know, that piercing high you get sometimes, especially with that REW curve that just kind of kept going. Uh, you know, I was surprised because the, the highs and the mids are very mellow on these. They, and the, just the punch they have, 
is incredible. It's, it doesn't really, you don't get sick and tired of listening to these. You never will. So uh, bass, you need a sub. These have no bass. So you definitely need a sub with these. And I have married them with the SB1000 Pro, which I will be doing a uh, review on very, very soon. However, I was super impressed with how these performed. I used them in a desktop scenario. I used them in a 2.1 scenario and they definitely exceeded their expectations. So would I recommend these to you? If these are within your budget, absolutely. These aren't the cheapest speakers, but they're not the most expensive. So these are kind of right in the, right in the middle and I, I, I would recommend them, but I would recommend them if you're looking for bass. If you don't have a subwoofer already, I definitely recommend possibly looking into the SB1000 Pro. However, if you do have a subwoofer already, these would be a great addition to your system because they are small, compact, but they have big sound. So thanks again, guys, for watching. I do have a Patreon, guys. If you want to check that out, I have exclusive stuff just for my patrons. Definitely look into that. I want to thank Cheap Audio Man Randy and Home Theater Fanatics Giles for being patrons, my only two patrons. I love you guys. Thanks again for being a part of my world. And guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you uh, next week when I put out new content. And look, stay on the lookout for that SB1000 Pro video because that's coming. And that subwoofer is a force to be reckoned with. So we'll see you guys here soon. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>